And now, your first alert weather. Cool and cloudy here for our Friday. We've had some dark clouds floating overhead, but no major threats for rain and snow tonight. We've been getting just maybe a couple sprinkles in our local mountains, but we had some fog this morning delivering some misty precipitation around the region. And now we have some clouds still working in from the west that could be troublesome if you're trying to view the eclipse tomorrow morning. We'll get to that right now as I show you the eclipse coverage. Now, of course, now we've talked about this. We are not in the path of totality, but we are pretty close and we would get a good show if it wasn't for that cloud cover. Now, we could probably still see some of the eclipse tomorrow, so don't completely discount that here for your Saturday morning. Again, starting tomorrow at 909 local time here, but uh, we will be fighting some clouds. I just want to throw that out there, letting you know that Mother Nature not exactly cold operating fully for this show tomorrow morning. High pressure in command, but you see we have a system that's brewing out here along the coastline of British Columbia and Vancouver Island. What's happening here is we're getting some clouds and showers along the west coast, and we have a few waves moving in our direction. We call it a short wave trough. It's not a real full blown cold front, but it's enough to bring in some clouds and a lot of clouds in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. Normally, we wouldn't be too concerned with that, but of course, just a little bit of cloud cover could obscure the eclipse tomorrow morning. But also tomorrow morning, if you're out and about, it's pretty chilly. We have another frost advisory in place. This starts at 3 a.m. Saturday morning, goes till 9 a.m., and that's with overnight early morning lows back into the low to mid 30s for eastern Idaho, especially for the Snake River Plain. So we got the ridge of high pressure to our south. It flattens out briefly for Saturday as we lose one center of high pressure, and we begin to drop another one from California. California. For tomorrow, though, it's going to be cool. Temperatures in the 60s and still pretty dry, except for areas near Montana, maybe up towards Missoula. They have a little bit of some wet weather, but that's a real low risk anyway. As we get into Sunday, we bring in high pressure, and this is going to be getting us started for the new week with highs into the upper 60s and lower 70s for Sunday and Monday. Tuesday, we'll start picking up on some of that stormy weather. However, the high is going to deflect a lot of the moisture to the north. You'll see that in the Viper cast. Tonight through tomorrow, again, here comes the clouds areas of fog, and you could even see a bit of precipitation in salmon from this low cloud cover and fog. Also in areas of central Idaho there, seeing a fair amount of cloud cover for the morning and midday. By the afternoon, we pull in some sunshine after the eclipse, and then as we get into Sunday, we're going to have partly cloudy skies with warmer temperatures, and temperatures here hitting the upper 60s, lower 70s for Sunday afternoon. Then we get into Monday and Tuesday. Monday's still looking to be pretty good here. High pressure deflecting a lot of the wet weather here for Tuesday, but there's enough energy working down that will get gusty winds and a shot of some wet weather. So fog, a frost advisory for tomorrow and a chance for some fog tomorrow morning as well. Temperatures at 63 for Preston and Malad. We got 64 McCammon. We're going to be in the lower 60s for Rexburg, upper 50s in Jackson, mid 50s in Island Park. Jackson's eighth day will be in the low 60s for Sunday, the upper 60s for Monday, and a slight chance of some wet weather on Tuesday as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday with dropping temperatures. Rexburg, 65 for Sunday, 69 for Monday, and we're into the low 60s for Tuesday with a shot of some wet weather. We go into central Idaho, we'll see a 66 tomorrow in Salmon, 58 in Mackey with a high of 60 towards Stanley, low of 24 there tonight. Salmon's warming into the low 70s by this Sunday, and then the mid 70s by Monday afternoon with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Idaho Falls, Blackfoot, and Pocatello all in the 60s tomorrow afternoon with 66 for Pocatello. Blackfoot's going to be about 63 here in the eight day with the upper 60s for Sunday and the lower 70s for Monday. Idaho Falls, we're settling into a crisp fall weekend. Pocatello here, 66 for tomorrow, 71 for Sunday. And Pocatello and Idaho Falls, yeah, similar story. Not much of a difference as you go from city to city, but it's going to be cold at night with lows still falling into the 30s. We're picking up on low 70s for Monday. Then we get the winds in here on Tuesday. Todd, over to you.